What's going on, you beautiful people? It's your boy, Where's Fluffy, bringing you another Dauntless video. And today, we're going to be going over the Call of Void launch trailer. We're going to go ahead and break it down, giving my thoughts and opinions on it. Now, originally, this was supposed to be a sort of longer video, but I realized all the information I was packing into one video was going to be a little bit too much. So this is just going to be straight up the Call of Void launch video or launch trailer breakdown. And then we're going to go ahead and talk about all the updates coming out for Dauntless in another video. So I do hope you sit back and enjoy this one. We're going to go ahead and try and break down everything we can in the trailer. So let's go ahead and get to it. It's a little loud, sorry. What is this area? That drastic stops it. Oh, this looks like, okay, so this is the final area, I'm assuming. That's an ugly motherfucker. Alright, that was kind of lit. I can't wait to go ahead and break this thing down. So what I like to do when I'm like breaking something down, I like to go over it kind of like scene by scene a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put it on like 0.5 just so you know we can get like those perfect, perfect um, scenes and go over them. So it's going to sound a little bit weird, but like we, we don't really need too much. So obviously here you can mostly see just like I'm assuming what's going to be on a hunt pass. These, I believe. Okay, those look like strikers, actually. So these are probably, like, all the weapons you'll see on the, the hunt pass coming out on the 11th. Along with... Huh. See, this is interesting, because they usually don't have two, um... Two sets of armor. So, like, one of these might be viable. I'm assuming the one on the left is going to be viable, just because it doesn't, like, necessarily correlate with the rest of the theme that they got going on. So I'm assuming this is the one you get from the hunt pass. And this is probably like a side thing you gotta buy, which I, I might mess around and buy it because I do kind of like it. But I'm liking, you know, the aesthetic of the hunt pass so far, what I'm assuming is gonna be on it. Now this is what I found interesting too. I'm assuming like this is gonna be like what you get when you get to level 50 of the hunt pass. And this is like the full get up. So this like the mask on the right of this guy like right here It'll turn into this when you get like the upgraded armor type thing for it. So I'm pretty excited about that because I like the you know the aesthetic the like cosmos aesthetic I can't say this word aesthetics and I'm really looking forward to it. It also looks like we got some um, differences here with the chest pieces and What we got going on with the shoulders? I can't really tell too much of a difference in the arms, but like for the most part, you can see like the two biggest differences. And this thing also has some horns, so I'm really digging the horns. And I'll probably end up like definitely going through with this has my primary helmet. Cause you I'm I'm a, I'm a fashion slayer all day. If I'm slaying monsters, I'm slaying behemoths, I need my slayer to look good. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is to it. So these like little horns, I'm definitely vibing with them. Okay, so I touched on this a little bit in my previous recording. This is this was um a lantern cosmetic at one point. Now I don't know if this has to do with the actual escalation itself. I'm not sure what they plan on doing with this, but I'm interested to see like how they go about it because it, it looks cool. It looks interesting. Maybe it might not be nothing. Maybe you know it, it's whatever. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'm assuming this is the um the war pike that's going to be on the hunt pass and this is what it looks i believe this looks like sword length because the handle is like kind of short i'm assuming this is what the sword is going to look like i wish like my can i actually like improve that it's only 720 let's put it in like 1080 that's a little bit better but uh it's still kind of hard to see but i believe this is the sword cosmetic that we probably gonna get off of the pass here we pretty much just got like i guess visuals this kind of reminds me of like one of the islands you can get that little cave they have and stuff like that. They just kind of like, you know, put a dark theme on it. Now this place looks cool. 
I wonder, like, well, obviously, they got the um little thing there. I don't know which area this will be. Like, if this will be the initial starting area that you're in. Or, you know, maybe, like, the third one or something along those lines. But um, this is, like, a different take. And I kind of, like, like this aesthetic for, like, sort of the arena that will be in when fighting behemoths. So I think this was a pretty dope spin they actually put onto this. Okay, this looks like, I'm, I'm assuming it's still like a different side of the arena. Uh, it's two behemoths here, so maybe I'm assuming this is like, probably going to be the one before you face the final behemoth. That's the only thing that kind of makes sense in my head, because, you know, you kind of like changing the area. Maybe you go through like some portal or whatever the case may be to get to the final boss fight. But I'm digging it either way. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. I want to go back to that just a little bit. Okay, so this is the orb they originally shown in the teaser, I'm assuming. It doesn't look like it belongs to any behemoth per se, but I'm assuming it gives out like a buffer, like does something along those lines. If you're smashing it, usually when you're smashing like an object in Dauntless, it usually gives you a buff, so I'm assuming it's just going to buff you. And this looks like it might be the axe that this... It's don't like the, the axe, you know, downward motion. I'm assuming this is what that might be for the cosmetic of the hump pass. Nothing too crazy going on. Okay, so like the, the kind of jump portion to the next area is still the same. Pretty much you hop in, you go somewhere else. That's a big pitfall. Okay, so here we got like the uh, umbral version of Draz. Which looks really fucking cool, if I might say. Okay, so instead of like the um the shock drags normally does, it's shooting out a bunch of like umbral balls. That kind of sounds weird to say, but uh, it, it's shooting like a bunch of umbral balls. So it ha does have a different beam projectile type thing going on. Okay, so here we got like the Naza. I might be pronouncing it wrong, I really don't care, to be honest. Uh, it kind of has like that shroud thing going on, where, you know, it kind of summons a clone, but this one kind of goes through a portal, and I guess it charges at you. I don't know if it stays or not, but uh, it looks pretty terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. And it can go through portals itself. And then here we got the Umbro Koshai. Uh, it has orbs glowing around it, like, there was like that small little... Let me see if I can get it, like, yeah, like, right there. Those look like orbs or something like that. I'm not sure what they're going to do or, like, how they're going to affect gameplay. So we just have to wait and see about that. Uh, it goes through portals and comes back out for, like, its pretty big slam attack. And that's kind of all they really show. Now, this particular... Now, this particular scene right here I want to talk about because this is, like I, like I said before earlier, I assume this is, like, the fourth area you go to. The one right before you face the final behemoth. And I'm saying this because it looks like they're going to go through a portal. In a few scenes. And I guess that's how you get to like the last behemoth. Or like the last big boss fight. So that's why I can only like deduce that this is that last area beforehand. And the animation for it definitely looks kind of cool. You go through it. You pop in and then bam. You get into a fight with whatever the fuck this is. Look at that face. That is literally a face only a mother could love. I ain't even gonna hold you. But like, it, it looks kind of terrifying. It's big, it's long, it's got about like six legs and slithers and shit. Oh, okay, so it has like a, it, I don't know, maybe it goes like to like another dimension or in the ground or something like that and it'll like shoot stuff out of you like how um, Riftstalker sort of does it like pops up at the portals and it shoots like projectiles at you and it said it can like physically attack you now through the portals Yeah, so it does go like in the ground pops back up. I guess that's it. Maybe the enrage for him That might just be for show I'm gonna be honest Okay, so that's pretty much gonna be the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it This is my first time kind of doing something like this So I really wasn't sure how it was gonna go, but I definitely enjoyed like 
pick it out and give them my thoughts on the trailer. So maybe I could potentially do something like this again. And if you enjoyed it, please show some support by hitting that like button. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.